Hi, I'm Karen Taylor from the Color Vowel Chart here to talk about a word today. The word is language. We received an email from one of our teacher users and the question was this. The word language is listed as black cat, she writes. It sounds like gray day, not black, even though the record, even the recorded version sounds like gray to me. And so I brought up here in Blue Canoe, our dictionary, and you can listen to the word. We have listed as black cat, just Black listen. Cat. Ah. And then you can listen. Language. Now, what color do you hear? You might be hearing black. Black cat ah. Language. Or you might hear gray. Language. Or you might even hear red. Language. So this is a perceptual kind of trick that your brain is playing on you. You, you might actually be hearing these things, or you may be perceiving them in anticipation of what's going on in this word. So let's look at the word. Here's language. And when you listen to language, uh, what's happening is you've got this nasal ng sound. So I'm going to underline the stressed vowel letter, language, language. And I'm going to also just indicate that we're noticing this nasalized ng, which is the sound in sing, right? That ending sound. And so if you think about where that is in the, in the vocal tract, ng, ng, your tongue is, is far back, it's kind of blocking uh, the glottis and that area in the back of the mouth. Mm. And to get there, if that first vowel, this one right here, is toward the front, la a a or le a a or le a a, you can imagine how it, your brain would want to prepare for this movement back here. So we might say language, language, or language. And if you just heard you know, what sounded like the same word three times exactly the same, then you may not have as much uh, sensitivity to these three vowel differences because your brain is so focused on the mm, okay? Um, but let me just show you how those sound. Language, language, language. Language, 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 okay? If you kind of think, well, I don't really care about the difference, uh, that's a bit of the point there that we have some dialect variation here, but these three kind of merge in terms of their significant differences because of the nasal here, okay? So if you see in, in Blue Canoe, how we've listed as a black word, that's in the interest of the learner, where they can count on, if they can hit that black cat vowel, they're going to be super clear saying language. And at the same time, if their colleagues are saying language or language, uh, those are still mutually comprehensible. Okay, so you'll find that we try to provide one clear answer or maybe two clear answers in the Blue Canoe Dictionary, um, but there's still sometimes even more right answers, okay? The last thing I just wanted to spend time with is the rest of this word. There's another little hidden uh, interest in this word, for me at least, and that's the invisible sound, w, right? Langu, w, language, langu, w, w. There's the w sound, and so it's hidden right here an invisible W, language, language. And that's something that a learner would have no way of really noticing unless they dig into the phonetic transcription or if they really have a very noticing ear. Um, so now you have a nice markup for this word and you can write the color vowel here that you uh, feel is most fitting for the way you say this word as a teacher um, or the way that it's said in your region. If you're somebody from outside in an area where they might use more of a, of a gray sound language. Um, but either way, go with what your gut tells you here and know that there are many wrong answers here that we're not listing. So whether it's black or gray or red, it's all good. We are flexible, we listen to each other and we're mutually comprehensible. Thanks for joining me today on the word language. Have a great day.